Syrians, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are well. I'm here to do your music reading for May 2024. So I've chosen six planetary aspects, six major ones uh, for the month. There is actually more, but I'm going with six major ones. And I'm going to incorporate uh, the Lenormand cards with within those six planetary aspects. So looking at the 2nd of May, we've got Pluto going retrograde. So Pluto retrograde likes to slow down the intense transformations and upheaval that Pluto is known for. So this is going to give you a chance over the coming four weeks to adjust to what has already come to pass and get used to the major changes that you've already experienced leading up to May. So with the Lenormand cards, I have the birds, the scythe, the rider, and the mountain, which is Capricorn energy. Sorry, I'll get them in view for you. Okay, so, you know, I feel like the adjustments that arose from the past is like a bit of small talk, bit of chit chat that was going on, you know. I feel that was fast communication, possibly to the likes of text communication. And I feel like you've revealed something in this conversation by accident. Now, someone may have told the truth here in their music life um, about what's going on. You know, you could have cut off this neg uh, this uh, communication because the scythe is one of negativity and it can come very swiftly and unexpected. So it is a card of relationships where something has been removed quite fast and without warning. But I believe this was the end to communication with someone. And this relationship was a warning that this situation had a limited future and I feel you're now getting used to these changes. Now, this communication, I feel, blocked your progression of music. So we'll go on to the next one, guys. We've got the 7th of May, which is Taurus New Moon. Now, with the Taurus New Moon, this is the energy where you can start new projects, um, pursue opportunities that's going to help you bring improvement into your music, bring stability and security. So you can be more confident around this new moon and, uh, you know, dedicate yourself to whatever you want to start. Now we've got, for this, we've got the fox, the child, the woman, and the anchor. So I feel... You may be trying to come up with something that's original and creative here, Cancer. You know, something different from your competitors. This may be where you pull the wool over their eyes, you know. Perhaps you may be doing a little bit of digging to find something that is different. And I feel like you may come up with an idea to work with children or you're going to go back to your teenage years. Go back to your roots, basically, where you first started, whatever... Um, genre of music that is but this is about your about you cancer you're a very inventive person or this could be a woman that you know okay it is a general reading for the collective so it could be a man or a woman or someone who's got feminine qualities now I feel like you will have stable employment coming up uh, possibly with a woman that has been working in the same place for a long time now as I say place could be uh, um, a company a hotel a club however you'll find your security there okay this is where you're going to be secure so we'll pop them back up here and we do have on the 15th Mercury enters Taurus so Mercury in Taurus is also slowing down mental energy but this is going to be helpful for sticking to your decisions and plans once you've made them. Now, you can take time with your thinking things over and just wanting to be more confident in your choices. Now, we have... I'm oh, sorry, picking the wrong pile here. 
the bouquet, the heart, the ring, and we have the moon. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you may move forward with your talents. The bouquet is about your skills, your talents, and being happy in your choices that you've made. This may be also a business offer for you that's coming up. And you will be enjoy, you know, you will enjoy sharing your passions with others, with the heart there. You know, you have these values that you want to stick to, Cancer, and you're going to charm your way into an, a commitment. You've got a very colourful reputation, especially in your own area. I feel like you're committed to your relationships. You're feeling more enthusiastic about what you've chosen for your music path. And you have a desire for a contract, but you just want it to be on a more emotional level. Now, this could be a new job or a change in positions, but you've got this reputation for being reliable and committing to your talents. So, not too bad so, so far. Let's go on to the 20th of May, which is the sun entering Gemini. Now, when the sun enters Gemini, this is kicking off the Gemini season. And you can spend the next four weeks with a more active mind, sorting through ideas, putting together your short-term plans, and, you know, just keeping busy all together. You can be very active, engaged, and inquisitive around this time. Now, we have the key, the whip, the letter, and the ship. So there's your action card there. Now the key is very significant and it represents what's important to you. So it also tells you that you need to pay attention to what is urgent around the 20th. You may need to take action because of a life changing competition. Um, your desire for your for a contract is very important to you around this time. And I feel you need to draw up a plan, Cancer. It's important in order to move forward. You know, um, a plan of action. Now, I feel there is a situation that keeps repeating itself. You know, it could be a relationship that's toxic or you keep going back to in your music. Maybe because of the only hardware shop in town. But it can mean in some instance you can repeat for the better. So, you know, perhaps you're receiving your luck in threes. It can also take on a sporty meaning like competition and showmanship. But your music is some sort of erotic tendency. This is what puts you on a high, basically. And you may receive um, an abusive message from somebody or have an argument about the direction that you're heading in. Well, a disagreement more than an argument. Now, the letter also represents a contract, but it has an air of privacy, which can be face-to-face -face conversations or social media posts don't have this. You're not able to see it. But you are about to close in on this contract. Now, this contract is from someone who will move you in the right direction. So that's beautiful. Let's see what else we've got going on. The 23rd, we've got Venus, the planet of beauty and love and passion, entering Gemini. So it means you can connect with others mentally, open up lines of communication and express yourself and just enjoy using your intellect. Um, you also got Sagittarius, full moon on the 23rd, which means you can be more passionate about your beliefs and Start defending yourself, people that are saying you're going in the wrong direction. This is the day you can finalise a course of study or finish plans for travelling and you can have a solid view of the big picture now. And it's going to keep you in a very light mood. So let's see what we've got with the Lenormand cards. We've got the man, the fish, the snake. And the woman. Sorry, get them in order. Okay, so, you know, this woman could be 
you cancel someone important in your music world, but you are focusing on your priorities. There could be a little bit of jealousy that you're dealing with, with some sort of twisted female, possibly a Scorpio or Gemini. But this is, you know, a woman's investment. She's quite wealthy and it doesn't have to be monetary. She's got everything that she needs. This is a most important woman in your life if you're a male cancer out there. This may be someone who is manipulating material things with a man who is tempted. Um, this could be a male who is investing his time in his music, but, you know, maybe just for themselves. Now, on the 25th, you've got Jupiter entering Gemini. So it means it's going to, into the air sign of Gemini, spending the next 12 months there. So this new Jupiter cycle means you can benefit from your mind, your ideas and your plans, and it's going to help you absorb new knowledge, express yourself open, openly and improve communication. Now, we do have the sun, which is success, Leo energy, the clover, which is a bit of luck, Sagittarius. We've got uh, the lily and the clouds. So, you know, this is about triumphs. Here, cancer achievements, your accomplishments, <coughs> excuse me, is representing you having a positive outcome in May and symbolizing what you have accomplished so far and what is to come. Okay, it does represent competitions, but going up against others in your field. Now, you will improve your chance of success. You are building this lucky streak and, uh, you know, recreating the peace and calm that you once had. And this is about getting mental clarity here with the clouds. Um, you know, maybe you're being a little bit confused and it's, with this situation and uh, you're clearing all that up now but I feel you'll have achieve a good result this month I really do and fortune with the clover is on your side you've taken a risk and bettered your time and resources on something that you're passionate about okay the clover also associates itself with money and good results but remember it's only short term the clover only is uh, luck for a short time. So I feel cancer, you'll have a successful time during the winter time especially, but you may be confused about something. And you know, it could be a feeling happy with an older man in your music, or this is a feeling of discontent, possibly with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Now what I've done, cancer, I've taken all your Lenormand cards that have come out today and it totaled up to 466 so this is the angel number meaning in relation to your professional life and it emphasizes trust in your abilities it reassures you that hard work will yield its rewards even if not immediately visible to you but imagine nurturing a plant it grows silently but in time then it bursts into bloom and it validates your care so navigating career challenges becomes a lot easier when you're guided by this number 466. And it is a tough and supportive force that whispers endurance and patience are virtues. Uh, and this would serve your ambitions really well. So you will encounter opportunities that require a steady hand and a calm mind. You know, especially with the lily here. And employing this number is a message that means also being watchful for new learning experiences, just like a student ready for a lesson, but just be open to the knowledge that's going to propel you to this higher level uh, with your music, you know. These learning, they often come subtly through daily tasks or interactions with your peers. And finally, this number is a beacon for personal growth within your career and it's suggesting that you as you evolve professionally your personal capabilities expand too now picture this growth as an unfolding map it's revealing paths to new horizons in your professional journey so let's look at your social connections i feel like soon 
You're going to experience a shift in your social circle. It hints at new bonds that will be made. They will be significant and rewarding. And 466, the number highlights the importance of teamwork and community. So hinting at collaborations that will enhance your life. The essence of this number points to the strengthening of existing connections. And you also will find that your relationships may deepen, leading to an increased trust and mutual support. Now, this period in your life is perfect for engaging in community projects or group activities. You know, it also touches on providing support to others. And you may also find yourself in a situation where friends or acquaintances look to you for the advice or a helping hand. Now, showing compassion and assistance is not going to only aid well for others, but it's also going to enrich your own experiences. So remember to keep your communication clear and open. And this number is also influencing misunderstandings with the clouds can be easily resolved, enhancing the quality of your relationships. Now, the connections that you make during this time could have a lasting impact on your journey forward. Now, inner peace and harmony with the lily is also a sign that's um, a signal of noteworthy shift in, towards inner peace and harmony. And it often appears when the universe is encouraging you to focus on your inner world. And when you encounter this number, consider it as a gentle nudge to seek tranquility within your life. You know, when it comes to your decision making and choices, it's like a gentle nudge from the universe guiding your decision. So it's going to pop up when it's time to make those important life choices that's going to help shape your future. Now, uh, I feel, you know, you're at a crossroads at the moment, Cancer, and you're contemplating which path to take, but this number suggests that your choices now will spark significant changes ahead. Think of it as a secret heads up from the cosmos, you know, hinting that your decisions will unfold new chapters. Now, we'll go and talk about your intuition, which is very strong. There is a powerful message regarding your innate intuitive abilities. It suggests that your future holds increased intuitive insights the number signals an inner voice is growing stronger every day and it's guiding you towards making the best choices for your path. Now your life purpose with the 466 angel number, it's intertwined with the fabric of your destiny. So this number is pointing to a journey towards discovering your true life's mission. It's whispering the potential future where every step you take aligns with your soul's deepest intention. So lately, you know, it might seem random, but there's a chance it's signalling something significant. And, you know, it's letting you see why it's been catching your eye. Now, if you're fearing something, Cancer, this number whispers of comforting news about your future. It's suggesting that your fears you will face will soon begin to subside, replaced by a sense of security. And it's like the night clouds part and the stars finally shine through it's a sigh of relief is on its way so the message here is not about encountering fears but really about overcoming them and imagine being afraid of the dark and then discovering that it's not so scary after all this is the number that hints that you will realize your fears are less daunting than you really thought they were you know so let's look at your strengths now the strengths, your presence of this number hints that you'll unlock your inner resilience. This newfound strength that you're going to have may surprise you because it's going to emerge in scenarios where you once felt overwhelmed. You know, it's also carrying a message of stability, determination, and it's suggesting that you will cultivate steadfastness, become an anchor for yourself and those around you, and notice how this number echoes the reliability that you've been seeking. So what a beautiful reading for you, Cancer. I'm sending you lots of love, healing, lots of shows and success your way. Love, 
Lots you all. Bye now.